Good evening everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, with my April update. Um, I have a small pile of new release Blu-rays, and quite a lot of X-Rentals, all from the one store. Um, a uh, network video, which is a smaller chain uh, out here. Another one of their branches is shutting down, and uh, I got some great, great bargains. Uh, but anyway, we'll start off with the new Blu-rays. Scalps. This is the 88 Films release in the Slasher Collection, number 19. This is the reverse cover. Cheesy as it is. Now, I've never seen Scalps. Fred Olin Ray film. One of his 80s ones. Um, it's not terribly fondly thought of, usually. And uh, it has a 2K remaster, apparently. Though the reviews I've read say that's pretty... That's pretty suspect, but anyway, I'm sure it's the best it's ever looked. Scalps, can you check it out? Uh, Riot, this is the latest uh, Dolph Lundgren uh, film. Uh, he may be front there on the cover, but he is not the uh, primary star. It's actually this bloke, not even this guy here. The one there behind him, see that bloke? Hidden there in the background? He's the star, which is just typical marketing. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Riot. Um, like cross between uh, Escape Plan and um, what was the uh, the other Stallone one? Lock Up. Like cross those two things. Uh, and Dolph is um, he's an inmate, and he's a uh, he's quite a quirky one. His acting in this is very good. So yeah, right, good. Uh, Ninety minutes uh, prison action film, good fun. Uh, very impressive release here, the uh, Umbrella 2-disc, Night of the Living Dead, 68 and 1990. Um, this is the reverse cover, so that's the original, and that's the remake. Uh, limited to 2,300 copies. I didn't get a number that was particularly wonderful. Um, the print on the 90 is excellent. Neutral colours, not blue hue like the, uh, like the Twilight Time. Uh, the... 68 is the same disc that they issued a couple of years ago, just in this case. Um, and uh, the soundtrack on the 90 is uh, improved as well, not the 5.1 remix that was on uh, the Twilight Time. Um, and although it says Region B on the back, it is actually all zones, so uh, I did check that. So any American that wishes to get this set, um, you can get it through JB Hi-Fi's website and they'll ship it to you. If you don't want the two disc, you can get the single, which just has the 90. Um, that one's not limited. But um, I think they're running out of this two disc, so you might want to hurry up on that. Um, Mimesis. This came out a little while ago. Uh, but I had a mate who reviewed it, said it was quite good. Basically, it's a bunch of fans of Night of the Living Dead go to a convention. And, uh, well, shit gets real. So, you know... One of those, uh, not a movie within a movie, but um, you know what I'm getting at. Um, yeah, Mimesis sounds pretty good to me, so I'll check that out. Rated R, that's a good rating to get. Uh, every man of these dogs got this friggin' thing, it's the new Star Wars. I thoroughly enjoyed this in the cinema. I've watched the 90 minute making of so far, which was uh, really cool. And I'll stick the movie on again sometime soon. The last Blu-ray. Fantastic. Cynthia Rothrock, Conan Lee, Blu-ray of Prince of the Sun, yellow case. How good's that? This is a German Blu-ray. This is the reverse cover that uh, omits the rating. Um, basically, from what I can work out, I've never seen it, it's like uh, Eddie Murphy's Golden Child, but um, just uh, the B-rated version. And I am looking forward to checking that out. Um, this was recommended to me by um, Extra the Mutilator. So, I hope I enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Just dig that cover up. Fantastic. And two more Blu-rays that snuck in for this update. Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3 on 88 Films. Number 17. 18. The features, I believe, are not as extensive as the uh, US one. Reversible covers. There you go. I 
kind of preferred the novelty of these covers. And now we're going to crack on with the X rentals. As I said, these all came from a network video, except for a couple on the end that came from my local video store, which is not shutting down, but they had a good sale. So anyway, we'll just start from the left. No water. Seven days. I don't know anything about seven days. I have known a few people say it was quite good. Has anybody here seen seven days? I should also say that these were less than a dollar each, it worked out to be, which is the cheapest X rental sale I've ever seen, so I was pretty much not picky at all. Uh, that included new release stuff that was on three day hire. It was actually less than a dollar, it was like about 90 cents each, this stuff worked out as. Uh, anyway, so seven days. Anybody seen it? Uh, Paywall72, Luke Goss, I quite like him in um, the. Uh, Oh hell, I just what they are. Uh, the Death Race remakes, uh, sequels. He was quite good in those, and some other stuff that I've got. Bit of a, um, uh, yeah, little B action star sort of brewing there. Um, so I'll see what this one's like. I don't know what an RZA is. I think he's one of those rap stars. Yes, I'm being stupid, but anyway. Um, no idea who he is, but I will check this out for Luke Goss. Um, the Burrowers, like a pretty neat little horror, western thing. Who's seen The Burrowers? Well, I don't have much to say about a great deal of these, because just blind buys. Mind Games, this is fairly new, I think. Um, I had seen it come up on JB a while ago. Anchor Bay. It's hit or miss, usually miss with um, modern Anchor Bay films. But anyway, see how this is. Who has seen Mind Games? Oh dear, oh dear, Jurassic City. This was as good as the cover looks. Um, <laughs> I was expecting something, I don't know what I got. Uh, when you do see the dinosaurs, they're pretty well rendered. But um, this is not Jurassic City, this is Jurassic Prison. The whole thing takes place inside three rooms of a prison. And it's not until the end that you see anything that looks like a city, so that was pretty annoying. Anywho, not great, not great. Uh, Dead Rising Watchtower, so from what I understand this is actually a video game movie uh, sequel. I think it flows on from the game, somebody tell me if that's correct or not. Anywho, modern zombie film, got to check it out. Pretty happy to get this one. Uh, these old Hammer classics are very hard to find. Universal ones, Horror of Frankenstein. Um, I have not seen this one before one of the Frankensteins without uh, any of the usual Hammer names. Um, yeah, never seen it. And I do enjoy getting these sets. Ah, uh, The Bride with White Hair. Quite an old Eastern Eye release here. That cover's a bit faded. Definitely looks like something I'm going to be checking out. I remember uh, being interested in picking this up almost 10 years ago and it never happened. Um, so let's see what it's like now. Fantasy swordplay, can't beat that. The Reverend. Best British horror since Hammer. Well that's saying a lot isn't it? Um, who's seen The Reverend? Rutger Howe, he's always good. It's a vampire film. The word phenomenal is written on the back. The Bog. <laughs> Ah, uh, Vinnie Jones. Now, I have seen this. I saw this on some sci-fi channel download maybe 10 years ago. Something like that. 2009, not quite. I, I pretty much saw it when it started to stream. And it was entertaining. I didn't even know there was a DVD, but here we are. Legend of the Bog. Vinnie Jones. Good old Vinnie Jones. Truth or Dare. This just looks neat. I don't know. I've had good run with uh, Mandela films. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this should be pretty good, I hope. Um, even Hitchcock would be proud, it says. Okay, sure. Wishcraft. That cover screams, screams late 90s teen horror. No idea what I'm going to get. Probably a late 90s teen horror. I love it when they say that it's a 4-3 ratio, like you should be proud of it. Oh, somebody from Coyote Ugly. This is really... Oh my god, hang on. Meatloaf. I got a Meatloaf film. Meatloaf for day. 
Riot. Best British thriller of the year. Okay. More British gang violence stuff. Let's see how that goes. Touristers. Now, I've seen this cover forever, and I always figured it was going to be some teen slasher thing. Is it? Am I going to see a teen slasher? What am I going to see here? I do hope that the high level violence is accurate. Wake up and die. It sounds like a death clock title. Um, pretty awesome cover. Sleeping with him was her first mistake. That to me indicates it's a nice spit on your grave kind of film. We will see. Wake up and die. Morning Star Warrior. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is what got me. It should have sent me away, but anyway, the producer of Name of the King. We are talking Uwe Boll. And... <laughs> I don't know, it looks craptacular. This is one of my favourite reviews I've ever seen. Five star from Amazon. That's it. Just five stars, Amazon. Thanks, Amazon. And someone in Deadline says, brutal. Okay. So that's uh, Morning Star Warrior, Night of the Witch. The problem with Uwe's films is they're always too long. 99 minutes. He probably needs to shave about 20 off that. Uh, now, Frank. A Fassbender film. I like Michael Fassbender. Um, meant to be quite a strange comedy. One of my mates has seen it and he thinks it's very good. So I will be checking out Frank. Bats, the original Bats. I had the sequel. Never picked up the original. Pretty sure I saw it on VHS days. Don't recall much. Lou Diamond Phillips, Bats. Uh, Tusk. Um, the lukewarm to downright terrible reviews of Tusk put me right off getting it, but. For less than a buck, I will give um, this Kevin Smith film a go. I know it has its fans. Devil Seed. I like accent films. Decent cover. Alex doesn't live here anymore. Oh dear. Yeah, some kind of exorcisty thing. It's fine with me. The Columbian Connection. Robert Thorne and Tom Sizemore. I like Tom Sizemore. Cheap action, I'm sure. Nothing wrong with that. Slaughter. You can't spell slaughter without laughter. Find a good hiding place. Okay. Oh, it's in the After Dark Horror Fest. Must be one of the box sets that I don't have. I know this is a f thoroughly, you know, not exciting update because I haven't seen most of these. But anyway, another Luke Goss. April Rain. Looks like pretty standard stuff here. Lazarus Effect. Now, I'm pretty sure this has had some decent reviews. Uh, who's seen Lazarus Effect? What did you think? Definitely looks cool. That looks kind of cheap and cool in the same time. Don't know what I'm going to get from the Lazarus Effect. Victim. It's not always who you think. He's had his head lopped off. This looks like it's going to be some kind of very black... Black comedy horror? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Victim? Room 205. Who has seen Room 205? I haven't. Makers of 30 Days of Night and The Grudge. Well, one out of two ain't bad. Still, looks pretty decent. Uh, red Beard. Did not have Red Beard. I look, do like uh, Kurosawa. And this was missing from my Eastern Eye set. As were these two, a couple of Godzillas. Godzilla vs. Megasaurus. And Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. Giant monsters all out attack. Fantastic. Uh, this is a monster title that's had uh, quite a lot of good raves. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. So I'm genuinely look looking forward to checking this guy out. Sounds pretty messed up. These final hours. Saw the trailer for this in the movies, I think. Um, Australian film, of course. Got a guy from Wolf Creek in it. Um, yeah, seems pretty cool. Let's see how we go. Neighbor. No idea, but that rating gets you. High impact, life violence, blood and gore. 
that's pretty much everything you need. Just need some nudity and you're set. Here's an old umbrella. Fellini's eight and a half. It's always cool to pick up these very old, old umbrellas. Links to the AV channel logo on them. Dead and gone. It's got Catherine Bates, she's cool. Do like Catherine Bates. Horror comedy? I'm assuming so. Uh, Woman in Black 2. Basically picked it up and my wife quite likes Tears 2 films, so uh, after seeing them on Netflix, so uh, yeah, I'll give them a go at some point. I haven't seen the first one either. Uh, Venus in Fur. This is a pretty new release out through Rialto. Uh, Polanski film. No idea. Uh, John Doe Vigilante. A monster title from a couple of years back. Another Australian film. Most controversial film since Romper Stomper. Sure it is. Sure it is. Uh, Corridor. Now I'd been eyeing this off since it was announced and it never showed up in stores and I was just... There's films that I'll get delivered and there's films that I'll only bother picking up in stores. And this was one of the, uh, one of the latter. Uh, it never showed, but then, uh, yeah, it showed up at the X-Rental. Didn't even have stickers on it. Pretty happy about that. The Corridor. Uh, Ving Rhames is the Animal. I think this is more of a prison drama rather than action, but I already have the sequel, which I got many years ago, so now I see the original. Uh, this is not an X-Rental. This, um, I already have this film. This is Red Rings of Fear. Um, I had the hard box, and I traded it for the regular case. I do prefer regular cases. Um... Yeah, traded for that and uh, some cash, which was nice. Uh, same disc. This is um, the third film in the sort of unrelated trilogy. Um, uh, Solange and what have they done to our daughters. So, very cool. Clown House. Very um, controversial film, this one, because of what the director did, and everybody knows what that is. But um, I managed to pick this up completely uh, out of print reasonable price compared to what you would get anywhere else and um, there's more to a film than just the director so uh, I've got to see what the film is like Clown House and this is where I might have started showing stuff last time I don't recall Tall Man Jessica Biel never seen it that was free so was Woman in Black I think I did show these last time, but I haven't got things on the uh, in the uh, shelves yet. This I didn't show. Kingdom Come, another accent, really cool cover. Not seen that. Kingdom Come, who's seen it? Pretty sure I did show that. Mama, that was a freebie. Midnight Sun, I've already got the Blu-ray. Don't need that. Ugh. Graveyard Shift, might have shown that. Uh, the Shaft, this is uh, Naomi Watts in. Um, how what is it in uh, Dick Snar's uh, his own remake um, in uh, yeah American of the the lift which still doesn't have DVD. It waits. I watched this. It was all right. Nothing much happened for a while, but um, yeah, then it kind of did happen. Monster was cool. Eh. Oops. Dropping shit. It's late. I'm getting tired. Quick and the Undead. This is pretty terrible. But that's what I'm going to say about this. Pretty terrible. Uh, another configuration. Pretty sure I showed that. Freebie. Definitely showed that. And I'm pretty sure I showed the rest. So we'll call it a day there. That's the update. Lots of X-Rentals. A few Blu-rays. See you next time.